Hey guys, it's Hannah and today I'm coming to you with a video that I'm excited to be filming because today I'm doing a 24 hour readathon vlog. So if you were unaware, Zoe from Read by Zoe, one of my dearest friends here on booktube, hosts these 24 hour readathons from time to time. She did one back in October and one in December as well. And I unfortunately was unable to participate in both of those because I was busy with schoolwork. And I just thought since I have time this weekend, I may as well try and do a readathon by myself. So basically Basically, this is me kind of just doing the December or October readathon that Zoe hosted super, super late because now I finally have the time to do it, so better late than never, right? <laughs> I did one of these previously when she first hosted one back in the summertime, I think, and I really enjoyed doing it. It was a lot of fun, so that's why I also really wanted to do another one, and I'm really hoping I'm able to participate in the next one and that I'll have the time. But for now, we're just gonna spend this day reading together, or at least I'm gonna read by myself, and you can read if you want to, but you're probably gonna see this maybe a week after I'm doing it. <laughs> so today is Friday, January 19th, and it is actually 10.45 p.m., so it's like not midnight yet. Saturday hasn't started. My official 24 hours haven't started yet, but I just wanted to start this like a bit earlier so I don't cut into my reading time. But if you couldn't tell, I am back at school. I just started my spring semester. I finished my first week of classes this week and now it's the first weekend back so I don't really have much homework or many assignments to do right now so I do have some free time which is why this was the best time for me to do this. But yeah I'm just really excited to spend an entire day reading. I have been in such a great reading mood recently. I have completely gotten out of my slump. I've already read six books in January and it's only the 19th so I am really really happy with my reading right now and I'm hoping that today or tomorrow technically will allow me to read a lot more and I'm so looking forward to it. I do have a TBR planned for today. I actually have a pretty ambitious one planned. Um, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get through all of these but I really really want to try and I'm hoping that I'm able to get through at least most of them. So I have six books on my TBR which is a lot to read in 24 hours and like I said I don't think it's gonna happen but we'll see. We'll see how well I can do. The first book that I really want to try and finish it's one I've actually already started. It's one I've been actually reading for the past few hours, but that book is The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. I'm actually already like more than halfway through this. I'm on page 195 and I think it's like 320 something pages, 40 something pages. I've actually been listening to this one on audiobook. I have the audiobook even though I also have the physical book and so far I'm really enjoying it. It's a very interesting story. It's gone in a different direction than I was expecting, but since I've already gotten so far into it, I definitely definitely think it'll be easy for me to finish today. The next book that I really want to try and read today too is The Weight of Feathers by Anna Marie McLeamore. This is one I've also already started but I am only on page I think 30 or so. Yeah I'm on page 31 right now so I'm not too far into it but this one's also fairly short. It's about like 305 pages so not that long. This is a magical realism novel and I'm really liking it so far. It's basically about these two traveling like performing groups that are kind of rivals with one another and then one of the characters from one of the groups falls in love with a character from the other group. So it's kind of Romeo and Juliet-esque with the star-crossed lovers type of thing and so so far I'm really really liking it and I definitely want to try and finish this one today too because from what I read of those 30 pages I flew through those so I know that I'll fly through the rest of it too. The next book that's on my list is one that's super short and one that I'm so excited to read so I know I'll be able to finish it in like less than two hours and that is Snow Falling by Jane Gloriana Villanueva. I've talked about it quite a bit since I've gotten it because I'm so excited about it but if you don't know this book is basically the book that Jane writes in the TV show Jane the Virgin and they actually publish published it as a real book and Jane the Virgin is one of my favorite shows of all time and I adore it so when I found out that they were actually publishing Jane's book as a real book I got so excited and I immediately bought a copy. It's basically a historical romance novel set in the 1900s in Miami and it's gonna destroy me. I am so so unprepared for all of the tears but I'm also so ready for it. <laughs> 
This one's extremely short. It's like just over 200 pages. So again, like I said, I'll definitely be able to fly through this one. The next book I have here is a graphic novel and one I absolutely know I'll finish today because it's super short and it won't take me any time to read it at all. But that is Persepolis. This is a graphic novel I've been talking about for a while now. And I think I actually mentioned it in my last 24 hour readathon vlog or it was in one of my booktube-a-thon vlogs. I can't remember exactly. But I've been wanting to read it for a very long time. It's basically like a graphic memoir about this woman's life living in Iran during the Iranian Revolution. And everyone says it's fantastic. There's a film about it. I really want to watch the film, but I want to read this first. And this is only part one. I don't have part two of the graphic novel, so I can't finish it yet but I definitely want to read part one at least. I don't know if this is going to be the first thing I decide to pick up today, but it'll definitely be the first thing I finish, I think. But yeah, I'm just really excited for this because I've been meaning to read it for so long, so now is definitely the time to do so. The next book that I really want to try and read is one that I don't know 100% if I'm going to get to it. This one's kind of lower on the list just because I don't know if I'm going to have the time to get to it, but that is 10 Things I Can See From Here by Carrie Mack. This is a book that I've been wanting to read for some time as well. It's a book about a main character who deals with generalized anxiety and that's why I wanted to read it. That's all I really know about it um, but I've just heard really good things too. And lastly on this super ambitious extremely long TBR I have decided that I want to read Zenith by Sasha Alsberg and Lindsay Cummings. If you didn't know I'm going to be moderating Sasha and Lindsay's event in San Francisco on the 25th of January. I'm super excited about the event. It's gonna be such a fun time. I've never moderated anything in my entire life so I'm really anxious about it, but I'm just so happy for Sasha and Lindsay. They have put so much work into this and I'm just really, really proud of them. So I'm excited to read it and see what I think. So this is it. These are all of the books that I really wanna try and read within the next 24 hours. Like I said, I definitely don't think it's going to happen. I will probably finish at least like three of these, but definitely not all six. <laughs> so yeah, that's it for my TBR for the day. And right now it is 11.02, oh, I unlocked my my phone. It's 11.02 p.m. so it's still not midnight yet but I'm still in a reading mood so I'm kind of tempted to just like sit here and read for a little while longer anyway. Oh but you know what I can do in the meantime? I can go and take off my mascara because I'm still wearing it. I haven't taken it off from earlier today and I don't want to fall asleep with mascara on. That's the worst feeling in the world. So I think I'm gonna go and take off my mascara and then just sit in my bed and get comfy with my fluffy blanket and start reading. I don't know which one yet. I haven't made up my mind, but let's just take off my makeup first. <laughs> all right, my mascara is off and now my face is all clean and I am ready to get in my bed and be all cozy. Also, if you hadn't noticed, I got a new vlogging camera. So if I keep like looking up, it's because my viewfinder is like up here now. So I'm sorry about that. I'm gonna try and look in the lens, but it's really hard. But yeah, I got a new vlogging camera for Christmas, which is super exciting because now I can actually vlog. I say new vlogging camera, I didn't have a vlogging camera before. I just had my regular DSLR and that's impossible to vlog with, but that's what I had been vlogging with. And now I'm so happy to have this because it's light, super easy to hold, it's better quality than my phone, and I'm really excited to finally be vlogging on it. So this is my first vlog with my new camera, so hopefully it turns out well. I'm still not 100% on all of the settings on it, so if it gets out of focus a lot, I apologize. I'm still trying to learn how it works. But yeah, it's definitely Definitely gonna make vlogging a lot easier so I'm super happy about that but now I am just going to get in my bed and I think I decided that I'm going to read snow falling first because I'm just like in a romancy mood and this one seems perfect for that since it's a romance novel I'm also kind of hungry so I got some um, sour cream and onion pop chips here and I'm probably gonna eat these as I read my book because I feel like snacking right now. So I'm just gonna wrap myself in my fuzzy blanket and have a good time. <laughs> It's just after midnight and I am currently on page 41 of Snow Falling. So far it's 
basically exactly the TV show and I'm living for it. So my 24 hours of reading have officially started now and I think I'm just gonna sit here and probably finish Snow Falling. I don't know if I plan to like stay up super super late and do like the full 24 hours and be like completely committed. Um, I don't know if I can do that. I feel like I'm just gonna get so exhausted and just pass out anyway. Um, but I think I am gonna try and stay up longer than I have in the past. So I'm probably gonna stay up till at least like 2 a.m. That's kind of my goal, but we'll see how tired I get. So for now, I'm just gonna go back to reading Snow Falling and then I'll update you guys once I have finished it. Okay, quick little update. So I was just like messing around with my camera. Like it's only been like 15 minutes since I last updated you guys, by the way, but I was just messing around with my camera and I accidentally like zoomed in on my face super close. And I realized that you can see like every single pore on my face. And that just made me like really self-conscious of my pores, which I know sounds really, really stupid. But um, I have some of those like pore strips with me, like the ones you put on your nose, like from the Princess Diaries, if you remember that scene. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go like all out Princess Diaries and just like put on a pore strip while I just wait and read because I have the time, I'm not going anywhere, and my crush isn't coming over anytime soon, so I think I'll be safe. But yeah, I have them right here, and I'm just gonna put one on, and we're gonna chill. The pore strip on my nose as I keep reading Snow Falling. <laughs> Am I Princess of Genovia yet? <laughs> so I put it on. This is probably embarrassing, but do I care? Not really. <laughs> I can't like talk too much with this thing on because like it's supposed to get stiff, and if I talk, it's gonna like move around and not get stiff. So I'm just gonna sit and be quiet because I need to wait like 10 to 15 minutes for this to dry. And then I'll check it again once I take it off. Honestly, this is so dumb. <laughs> Good morning. So um, I fell asleep last night way earlier than I was expecting to. <laughs> I went and I took off my pore strip and then I just went to wash my face. And then I came back to my room and I read about like 30, 40 more pages of snow falling. And then I think I just passed out because I woke up with my book on the floor and it was light outside and I was very confused. And it's also like 9.30, so it's kind of late too, but oh well. <laughs> I was expecting to stay up later and wake up pretty early and keep reading. Um, but I guess my body was just way more tired than I thought it was and it needed more rest, which is fine. Like, you know, you gotta sleep, you gotta rest, it's good for me and I never sleep properly, so I'm happy about that. But it does mean that I have some catching up to do today. I just woke up like maybe five minutes ago. I basically just checked my phone and then I turned on my camera, so I haven't done anything yet. But I need to go and wash my face and brush my teeth and then eat some breakfast because I haven't eaten anything. And then we're gonna probably just get back into reading. So let's go and do those things. So I have my breakfast now and I would eat in the kitchen but my housemate is home right now and I don't want to disturb her and it's just always awkward vlogging around other people. <laughs> what I'm going to do now is basically eat my breakfast as I listen to more of the Cruel Prince audiobook. Since it's hard to have a book open while you're also eating, it's much easier to listen to an audiobook while you're eating. So that's what I'm going to do for the next however long it takes me to eat and then I will check back in with you guys once I'm done. So I finished eating my breakfast and I actually decided to do some editing, some rough cut editing while I was listening to the Cruel Prince audiobook because it's really easy. I don't really have to pay attention to anything that I'm doing. I'm just like making some rough cut edits and it's easy to listen to an audiobook while I do that. I do that a lot. So I did some of that and I got some work done, which is good. And I read like two more chapters of the Cruel Prince, which is good. And now I'm probably just going to sit down and finish reading snow falling but yeah I'm just gonna try and finish that up and then we'll see what I decide to read next but I'll update you guys once I finish it if you were wondering the dedication of this book has already destroyed me and made me start sobbing and now I'm on like page 114 and I read this line and wow I love pain 
so much. It's great. And I'm crying. Like I said, I'm on page 114, so I have like 100 pages of this left. And I'm just like really, really emotional about it. Quite honestly, it's like not amazing, not amazingly written. It's not the best thing I've ever read. But it's basically just like fan service. Like if you love the show, you're going to enjoy reading this because it's basically the same story, just with different character names and set in the 1900s. But they keep talking about grilled cheese sandwiches because if you watch the show, you know that Jane loves grilled cheese sandwiches. So of course, her self-insert main character also loves grilled cheese sandwiches. And now I'm kind of craving one, so I might make one after I finish reading this. I finished it and now I'm so sad. <laughs> It's basically exactly the story that happens in Jane the Virgin, except the names are changed and technically it's set in a different time period, but it kind of just feels like the same time period. It was a fun read. It's not exceptionally well written or anything like that, so I think it's mostly the type of thing that you'll enjoy if you love the TV show and you love these characters already and you just kind of want more. So I think I'm gonna give it probably like three and a half stars because it's like not the greatest thing ever written, but like I said, I really did enjoy myself. Cried a few times. Um, yeah, and now all I want to do is watch Jane the Virgin, but I'm still craving that grilled cheese, so I'm gonna go make one for myself now because it's also lunchtime. So yeah, let's go and make a grilled cheese sandwich, and I'm probably going to listen to some more of The Cruel Prince while I do that and try and make some more progress there. And then after that, I think I'm probably gonna try and read Persepolis because uh, I'll finish that really quickly too, and then we'll move on to something else. So I'll check in soon. So grilled cheese has been made and eaten, and it was very good and it definitely satisfied that craving that I had. I just also listened to more of The Cruel Prince and now I'm on book two officially so I'm in like the last stretch of it. A lot is happening. It's gotten pretty intense at this point um, and I think it's like starting to pick up now. I was enjoying it at the very beginning and then it got kind of like slower, a bit more boring, and now it's starting to pick up again, I think, and I'm enjoying it a bit more. So hopefully this last stretch of it is really good and I really enjoy it because then I will really love this book. But right now it's just like, okay, it's good, but just like okay for me. On another note, as I was making my grilled cheese sandwich, I realized that I don't have too many groceries left to make food for dinner today. So I might go out and get dinner. I'm kind of tempted to go out and get some Thai food for dinner. So that's what I'll probably do for dinner. I'll get some takeout and then come back and listen to more of my audiobook and read some more. But right now, I think that I'm gonna pick up Persepolis since it's very, very short. I'll definitely finish it really quickly. And then after that, I don't know yet. Let's just take it one book at a time. All right, I have my giant blanket, I have my book, and I'm gonna curl up and read. Okay, so update. I'm still reading Persepolis and it's taking me longer to read it than I thought it would and it's making me cry so much. I knew that I would get emotional reading this but like I didn't think that I would actually cry. It's so good. It is so, so good. I'm gonna go back and finish it now and keep crying but I love it. So I just finished Persepolis and as you can see I'm kind of a mess. It was so, so so good. And like I said earlier, I knew that I was gonna like it. I expected to like it, but I didn't expect to cry as much as I did. So it took me a lot longer to read it than I was expecting. It's actually four o'clock right now, and I actually didn't read the entire time. I spent like an hour on the phone with my mom as I was reading it, as I'd gotten about like halfway through. <laughs> because she called me and I told her that I was reading it and she's already seen the film so we started talking about it a little bit and it just it made me so emotional. <laughs> the thing about this book is that it hits so close to home for me because this is essentially what my family experienced. It's what my parents went through. It's what my grandparents lived through. It's what so much of my family has told me about as I was growing up. I've grown up listening to their stories about what it was like to live through a revolution and to live 
through a war. And I've heard their stories countless times and to actually get to read a book that tells that same kind of story that so many people have gone through that is such a personal thing for me and for my family is just incredible. Like I've never read anything that has been so so similar to the things that I've heard growing up. The story that she tells in this book, since it's a graphic memoir, is a true story. It's her story and it is so similar to the things that my family's told me about. At some points it's verbatim the stories I heard growing up and that's just so incredible and heartbreaking because it makes it so much more of a reality. Like when your family tells you things, of course that's a reality for you. But when you read something in a book or you see something represented in media, it reaffirms that reality. You know that it's not just something your family made up or that it's just singular to you. It's something that countless people have experienced. And it's just, I don't have the words to describe what it feels like. Like I said, I talked to my mom for some time and cried a little bit and kept reading and then cried a lot more and now I'm just kind of an emotional mess and I don't really know what to do with myself. <laughs> Needless to say, I gave Persepolis 5 out of 5 stars. It's exceptional. It's absolutely breathtaking and beautiful and I've never read a graphic novel I've liked so much and I need the second part because I only have the first part so it's like a cliffhanger. I haven't finished the story yet so I'm gonna order that as soon as possible and then watch the movie when I finish it but I just, I'm blown away. I adore it. I don't have the words to describe how much I loved it. But anyway, um, now I have to start reading something else. Like I said, it's four o'clock right now, so it is kind of later in the day. Um, but I haven't made up my mind on what I want to read next. I think I'm going to pick up The Weight of Feathers and try and finish that one since I'm already like 30 pages into it and I've already gotten a head start. And then I'll keep listening to The Cruel Prince later on. But yeah, um, really, really emotional read. Clearly my favorite thing I've read so far today and I think it'll be my favorite thing that I read all day because I don't know what can top that for me. <laughs> time. So I am now on page 73 of The Weight of Feathers and I'm starting to get kind of hungry so I think I'm gonna go to the Thai food place and get some Thai food and then come back. I'm losing my page. <laughs> and then I will come back and eat dinner and then probably listen to the rest of The Cruel Prince because I'm almost done with that like I said and then go back to reading the weight of feathers. I'm really liking this one so far. It's really really well written and I love magical realism so this one is just a really enjoyable book for me. I will check in with you guys after I go and get some food. I don't think I'm gonna bring my camera with me to go and get food just because I don't feel like vlogging in public but I do have to get ready before I go because I'm still dressed in my pajamas so I may film a bit of that. We'll see. My food is here, so it is a bit later actually because I decided to order the food a little bit later because I kind of got more into reading the book. So I read some more. I went and I got my food and now I'm really excited to eat it because I'm so hungry. Um, and now I'm just gonna sit here, listen to some more of The Cruel Prince because I'm almost done with it. And then I'm just gonna work on some videos, edit a bit more, and then hopefully finish this book pretty quickly. But yeah, mostly I'm excited for this food. I got Thai food. I got Pad Siu with tofu, my favorite thing. Shout out to Brand from Brandon the Book Addict for introducing me to it. Um, but yeah, it's so good. So I'm gonna go do that and then I'll check in with you guys later. All right, so I just finished listening to The Cruel Prince and I don't really know how I feel about it. I feel like there's been so much hype around this book and everyone, like literally everyone I know is giving it like four and five stars and just raving reviews saying it's so incredibly good. And like, I just felt like okay about it. It wasn't bad by any means. I enjoyed it, but I just thought it was kind of basic. Like there was nothing really special about it that stood out to me. The main character was kind of annoying. I really liked her older sister and I kind of wish the story was about her instead of Jude, the main character. I mean, the world was interesting enough, but 
something about it just was kind of lacking for me. It might be just because it was like too overhyped, but I don't know. I'm just feeling really torn and conflicted because I have no idea how to rate this. I'm kind of leaning towards like a 3, 3.5 somewhere in that like range. I don't know. Again, like I said, it's not like I didn't like it. I did like it, but I just don't really love it. And I don't really think I would read the next books in the series. This is also the second fairy book I've read recently that has left me pretty underwhelmed. And I'm starting to think if it's just like a fairy thing. Do I just not like fairies? But I feel like that's not it because I love fairies. Like I loved the Spiderwick Chronicles growing up and fairies are a significant part of that. And Holly Black wrote that too. So I don't know. I don't know what it is, but this one was kind of disappointing for me. Again, I'm still kind of confused on how I want to rate this. I don't really know. I'm probably going to put it at like 3.5. I think that's safe. I think that's what I'm feeling. But nonetheless, that means I have finished with my third book now. And now I'm going to go and finish reading The Weight of Feathers because it is currently 8.21 p.m. So I have still plenty of time to finish this one. I definitely think I'll be able to finish it because I'm on like page 100, I think, or page 70 something. And yeah, so I'm just gonna go and lie down and get comfy and keep on reading. I feel like I haven't moved around much today, which probably isn't good. I probably should walk around more. I promise I don't lay down all day, every single day. Today is just like a hardcore dedicated reading day. But this is the life of a book nerd, you know? Sometimes you just don't move all day and you spend your entire day in your bed reading. And that's okay from time to time. <laughs> At least that's what I like to tell myself. <laughs> Okay, I'm still reading The Weight of Feathers, but I was just reading along and I noticed that they mentioned my hometown and nobody ever mentions my hometown in any book because I live in a really small town and no one really knows about it and it's in here and that just makes me happy. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to share that little random fact. I'm gonna go back to reading now. <laughs> who passed out again <laughs> apparently i have been just way more exhausted than i expected these past two days and i just keep falling asleep really early like last night i fell asleep before midnight and i didn't even get to finish reading my book i fell asleep with it on my face and then i woke up at like 4 a.m and realized that all my lights were on and my book was on the floor again and yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> I've just been the worst with staying up apparently. I think I'm losing my college student edge because I don't think I can pull all-nighters anymore because apparently I fall asleep before midnight every night. But yeah, what can you do? My body needed rest, so thankfully it got some. But that does mean I didn't unfortunately get to finish reading The Weight of Feathers. I got like more than halfway through. I think I'm on page like 200. So I only have 100 pages left basically. And I'm really, really liking it so far. Like it started off a little bit slow but that's just because it was kind of introducing the world and now it's like picked up and I really love the story. I love the characters and I love the writing. I'm about 90% sure I'm gonna give this book five stars so I'm really excited to finish it. I'm probably just gonna finish it today anyway but I do have some other work to do. I have YouTube videos to edit. I have some homework to work on and other stuff. Otherwise I would just continue filming today and just make this 24 hour readathon vlog like a weekend reading vlog but I have work to do so I'm not gonna do that because I don't think you guys want to watch me just like type out my reading notes <laughs> but yeah I'm just very happy to be out of my reading slump because last year I was in a terrible reading slump for the majority of the year reading was just really hard I wasn't in the mood for it but now I'm just like completely out of it I feel like my reading self again I've been reading so much I just looked at my goodreads as I was like adding the books that I read today and and I realized that I've read like 10 books already this month and that's amazing because I haven't done that since I think 2016. Um, so yeah, I'm just really, really pleased with myself and I'm going to finish The Weight of Feathers so it'll be 11 and I definitely need to finish Zenith before the month is over so that'll be 12. Like, I'm just so on top of it and I'm so happy right now. <laughs> it's just such a refreshing change from barely being able to read like one or two books every month to going back to the way I used to read and it just makes me happy so I'm feeling pretty good. <laughs> and I know it's like only week one of my semester but I've been having a really good semester so far. I'm feeling so much better 
than I did last semester and that's just a complete relief because last semester was quite honestly miserable for me and I'm just feeling happy and I'm feeling okay and everything just feels better so that's also just the greatest feeling and I really want to be able to maintain that so maybe doing some more of these reading vlogs from time to time will help because I like talking to you guys and talking to you guys always makes me happy and it makes me feel more like myself and definitely less alone. I have my friends obviously I love my friends so I'm not alone but there are times when you're at college and you can just kind of feel isolated and alone especially when you're away from your family and your friends so I love having you guys here for that it means a lot to me and I just love talking to you all. So sorry to get sappy. I feel like I get kind of sappy at the end of every vlog. I don't know what it is about vlogging. It just feels way more personal and I feel like I can share a lot more. So I think that's why I get like this. But whatever. But nonetheless, that is where I'm going to end this vlog today. I hope you all enjoyed watching it. Let me know in the comments down below if you'd like to see some more reading vlogs. I think I might do like some weekend reading vlogs. So they're not like 24 hour readathons where like I have to try and read as much as I can. But just like over the weekend when I have the time, I may just try and read as much as I can. And I have to study too, so you can chill with me while I study as well. If that's something you guys are interested in seeing, just let me know. I will definitely try and make those videos. If you'd like to follow me, on any of my social media all my links are in the description box as always but thank you all so much for watching this video thank you for being you and for being so kind and supportive i love you all so dearly and i will see you in my next video bye